Priests are often asked for their political opinions, and the wise priest will refuse to give it, because opinions are just that. No matter how strongly we feel something, our opinion may be wrong. Priests aren't given God's grace to make political announcements. We will be called to account for every word we've spoken, but especially those made in public that affect many people. Sometimes, however, politicians will try to make moral issues into political issues. They will tell you a moral issue is just a political choice. This is the case with abortion. It cannot be reduced to a political opinion. It is a sin. Elder Ephraim of Mount Athos and Arizona describes abortion clinics as the new slaughterhouses of Herod. With modern ultrasound technology, we're able to see the unborn child react to pain. What was hidden is now in the open, as one day all things will be. In America, half a, over half a million human beings die every year. Well over half a million human beings die from abortion every year. Worldwide, it's almost unbelievable to take in the number. It's one every second. A human being is killed through abortion every second. However politicians hide the reality, they call it reproductive health care and so on, this reality is evil. It is satanic. We're witnessing a mass sacrifice of the most vulnerable people on earth. How can we dare to think we are civilized while this not only continues, but is condoned and even promoted as good? People have become so alien to God, so alien to moral truth, that this astounding evil is called a human right, a social good. In fact, every pregnant woman shall be called a mother. For once she conceives, she carries a human being, a creature made in God's image. This perversion of motherhood is a sign of how far our world has embraced evil. The demons persuade mothers that their career is too important, that the child will be a financial burden a litany of endless reasons why the child should die. But let us remember, every embryo has a soul. The human being doesn't cease to exist at death. This is a whole person that is aborted. They live on in the next world. They cry out to God. Their innocent blood is not ignored by God. They were denied the life God gave them, the opportunity to be baptized, to live as Orthodox Christians. The sin of abortion is forgiven through confession, but the repentance of this sin must be lifelong. Parents who have made this choice must weep before God for the rest of their lives. Repentance is itself a merciful gift from God. And all of us have a responsibility in this, a responsibility to speak out, to refuse to support politicians who promote this evil, and a responsibility to offer support to struggling mothers, that they may choose good and resist this demonic temptation.